Hi, it's Tom here again from Sun Sleeper Conversions. This is just a quick video to show you how to simply and securely fit our standard kitchen units into your vehicle. This unit is for a short wheelbase Volkswagen Transporter T6, uh, but the installation for the Transit Custom is very similar. So we've got Sam, my brother, here again to give me a lift with this standard kitchen unit into a VW T5. You've already seen the assembly video and the preparation of the vehicle video. So this is how you lift the unit in in one piece and fit it in place. Okay, so now we're just going to lift the unit into the vehicle. Take note of where Sam lifts the unit to make sure there's no damage caused to anything. We're going to get in half weight and then we're going to tilt the unit over to 45 degrees so that we can get past the top of the vehicle. Okay, so now you've got your unit in situ in the vehicle, you want to make sure you put your worktop on to make sure that the positioning is correct because if it's fitted too far back or too far forward, your worktop won't fit properly. Okay, so now we've got the unit in situ, I just wanted to show you, down here, we've got a perfect fit with our unit up against the wall due to the fact that all of our units are profiled to suit the vehicle. Okay, so now we've got the unit in situ, we're going to pick up the steels of the vehicle and fit it up against the wall. As you can see here, I've drilled some holes ready for using our self-tapping screws, which are going to go through the first layer of steel only. You want to make sure that those screws aren't too long, that they end up going through the outside of the vehicle. When you're pulling into the vehicle wall, you want to take up the slack until the unit is tight against the wall, but not so tight that you start to tilt the unit over. Okay, so for fitting the rear wardrobe section to the wall, we're going to use these steel angle brackets. They've been fitted at the same height as the steel that runs through the vehicle. Again we're going to use some self-tapping screws to pull into the vehicle making sure that they're not too long that they're going to go through the outside of the vehicle. Okay so now we've got the cabinet fitted along the wall and pulled into the steels nice and tight. It's time to fit these corner blocks onto the floor to give it a bit more rigidity and strength. So these can be positioned as and where you like around the base of the cabinet. You simply screw through the wall and then down into the floor. You want to make sure that these are positioned without obstructing anything, for example, the feet of the fridge. This opening, as standard, is for a Waco CRX50 fridge. In order to achieve a flush fit with our units and also allow the use of a rock and roll bed, the fridge needs to be recessed into the wall. In order to do this, you'll need to cut the panel in the back of here to push the fridge in level. The Waco CRX50 fridge is a brilliant fridge which we've been using for years. If you'd like to know where to buy one of these, you can see it in our description below. Okay, just to clarify what we were talking about earlier with fitting of these corner blocks on the base of the unit, um, you want to fit these into the skin of the unit and then down into the floor. Obviously, you want to be doing it on the inside of the cabinet throughout so you don't see them from outside. But just to show you, you want to put it down to the floor, screw into the cabinet and then down onto the floor. You want to do that throughout on the base of the cabinet. I'd say you want about 12 corner blocks throughout the base of the cabinet. Okay, so now once you've got all your unit fitted, pulled in nice and tight to the wall, it's time to fit your worktop. As you can see here, we've got a notch out in our worktop. This allows the unit to be fitted and also allow the driver's seat to come all the way back for those that are a bit taller than myself. So now we've got the worktop in position. You want to open the cupboard door and using the corner blocks we previously fitted, screw this worktop into this face. When doing this, make sure that this worktop stays level to prevent this door ending up catching. Once you've done that and pulled up nice and tight to there, you can then go underneath the cabinet and using the other corner blocks that we've already fitted, pull it up into the worktop. Again, using the four by 15 millimeter screws to make sure it doesn't go through the skin of the unit. As you can see here, we've got a few cables loose. Um, they, we've got a few more bits and bobs to do with it to get it all wired in. This customer is having a top of the range Victron battery storage system and LED system. Thanks for watching our video. In the description below, you can find a link of where you can purchase our kits. Please take a look around our YouTube channel and subscribe so you can see various other videos that you might find helpful. And if you have any queries, feel free to get in contact directly with us via our website, sunsleeper.co.uk.